All right, so for today's video, we're going to be talking about my quail setup, uh, about the cage, what kind of bedding I use, and food and water containers, and then what kind of feed it is, and we'll talk about the prices for everything. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. Also, I'm sorry about the, the noise. We've got our fans going in our greenhouse because it is like 90 degrees in here, so it feels great. It's really hot, but hopefully you can still hear me the whole time. All right, so the setup that I have for the quail is just this wired rabbit cage, and it came with a super durable uh, plastic short tray that normally you would just slide underneath and then slide out. And I knew that they were gonna make a huge mess with that if I wanted to do the bedding and everything. And so what I did is I took this, this also super durable uh, plastic and I just, I just screwed it. I just screwed it to the bottom of the short tray. And so it keeps everything inside. It also helps them feel a little bit more protected too because it's kind of, you know, at their head level. All right, so for their food and water, I'll just show you this real quick. So it's just the platforms that you can buy or the bottoms, uh, the bases that you can buy just to any animal supply uh, store that you can go to. And then I've just got the quart jars on the top instead of buying the plastic ones on the top, those, those break really easily, especially if it freezes. And so I just like the jars and I can tell if they're clean at all times. And then I just built this, this wooden platform for the food and the water to be on so that they didn't get any of their bedding inside of it because that would have been a problem and I, that would have not been great. So this works out really, really nice for them. And I don't have any messes with the water or with the feed. So yeah, it's pretty simple and pretty self-explanatory. So <laughs> one other thing about these quail cages is that I put something on the top because if you, if it's just like open, then they're gonna think that they can just jump, jump up. I had a lot of problems with that. They would freak out and then they would like jump up and hit their heads. And I was afraid something was gonna happen. You know, I, I've had them in other things where that's happened and then they've, they've broken their necks. So I really didn't want that to happen. And so just keeping something on the top is going to solve that problem. And I just have some old towels on the top that we weren't using. All right. So first of all, this is the first layer of bedding that I do. It is just compressed pellets that they use for horse bedding. And it costs me about seven or eight dollars for a 40 pound bag. So it's pretty nice, pretty efficient. Uh, it soaks up a lot of moisture and it gets rid of a lot of odor. So I really like those just as a base. And then this is just rosebud horse bedding as well. It's just pine, pine bedding. It goes a really long way and I don't have to use very much of it. And the quail actually really like it because they, when, when I put the new stuff in and they just kind of get in and, and bed down in it. And so they like it. I'm gonna change out the bedding in one of these cages so you can just see kind of what I do with this and, and how I put it all together. All right, I'm going to clean out this cage. And the first thing that I've got to do is take out the food and water. I don't want to mess that up. The water's dirty. I just dump it out. I'm going to take the platform out. All right, now I've got to grab the a dust broom or dust pan that I've been using. Just scoop it out throw it in a bucket for the compost bin, and then I'll just show you how it goes from there. I normally just fill this up just a little bit. You don't need very much. And then I'll just dump it in there and spread it around. And then I'll just pack this bucket full of the pine bedding and then just dump it in. Thank you. 
So that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna grab a little bit of grass to put in there because they like to peck at it and I've got a lot growing in a pot over here. So let's go grab that real quick. go guys one thing I forgot to mention is that they love this little area under here um, I think it helps them uh, makes them feel a little bit more protected and I also find their eggs under there probably 90% of the time so they kind of think of it as a nesting area I think so they like it <laughs> so sometimes it gets really hot in here like today it's uh, around 90 degrees and the quail can get super super hot and so I'll just take some of the wet dirt we've got over here. It's really cool. And I'll put it in there with them. And they kind of treat it as a sand bath. And it helps them cool down. And they really enjoy it. So let's do that. about is the feed that I use for my quail. Hey, can you go out the way? Can you go, go somewhere else? So I like to give them a, an organic and non-GMO feed, especially when we'll be eating their eggs. Um, and I just know it's better for them. And so I'll buy this Nature Smart. Um, I think it's a, I think it might be a 40 pound bag. It's organic and it's non-GMO. Uh, it costs me about, $27 for the bag and it takes them it takes them a little while to go through it uh, at least over a month per bag and then sometimes I'll throw some of these mealworms in there the freeze-dried mealworms and they love these just extra protein um, and then sometimes not very often I'll put some oyster shells in there just for extra calcium maybe every other week um, they just kind of peck at it um, hey can you get out Go away, go, go somewhere else. So yeah, anyways, um, they love this feed and they do really well on it. And okay, we're done, apparently we're done. <laughs> yeah. All right, the last thing we have to go over is the prices for everything. I know I probably said the prices of some things before, but um, not everything. So we'll just hurry and, and go through all of that. So the prices for each one of these cages was about $50 each. Um, but you don't need to buy them brand new. You can, uh, you know, go on Facebook Marketplace or you can go on Craigslist or KSL or wherever you're at and you can find some that are probably used and a lot cheaper. And I would suggest that you buy ones that uh, do not have a flat bottom and that are actually built up to hold bedding. Then you won't have to make any modifications to it like I did. The plastic that I have around didn't cost me anything because we already had it and we weren't going to use it for anything. So that didn't cost me anything at all. For the bedding, the rosebud horse bedding that I got cost me about six to seven dollars for a bag. And then for the pellets, it was about seven to eight dollars per 40 pound bag. And they've lasted a long time. It's a very reasonable price in my mind. So I would definitely go for those. And for the water containers, uh, for the bases, mm, probably cost me two or three dollars per base. Uh, so not not too bad, and I haven't had any break on me yet. And then the glass jars, uh, you know, it's different everywhere you go. These ones are just ones that we had, so I'm not sure how much those were. Maybe just a, you know, just a couple dollars. And then last for the feed, for the Nature Smart Organic and Non-GMO feed, it's about $26.99 a bag or $27.99 for it's probably 40 pounds I would guess for the five pound bag of the country companion freeze-dried mealworms I think it cost me around 20 25 dollars a bag I cannot quite remember but again we go through it really slow for the quail so it's you know not a bad price I bought two five pound bags and they've lasted me probably four months already so it's going pretty good I'm not even done with the first one yet and then for the oyster shells, um, I think they were maybe nine or ten bucks, and I don't use it very much. Doesn't really affect my the monthly payment for the feed for the quail. 
Thanks for watching this video. I really enjoy raising quail and discovering some new things with the quail. Uh, and if you want to come along on this journey with me and to see some new things about quail and how to raise them and how to incubate them, which is going to be coming up soon, then stay tuned, subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you later.